There are many rules and procedures that apply to Pinellas County School volunteers. You've already learned about the most important of them at your school's volunteer orientation. In fact, the Pinellas County School Board has formally adopted a policy that contains some of the basic rules and procedures, School Board Policy 9180, entitled Volunteers. You may review that policy on our website by going to www.pcsb.org slash board policies. Today I want to emphasize one of the more important rules you must follow, confidentiality. As a volunteer, you may be exposed to confidential information, such as student information and possibly certain employee information. It is critical that you do not share confidential information with anyone unless the sharing is necessary for you to perform your function as a volunteer. Of course, to apply this rule, you need to know what information is confidential. So let's review some of the more common examples of confidential information. The primary category is information regarding students and their families. This student record information is confidential and again, should not be released to anyone, whether inside or outside the district, unless the release is necessary to perform your function as a volunteer. One example of this would be to share information with the teacher or supervisor about a student's homework, or information a student tells you about a new medication he is taking. We ask that you direct parents to the teacher or school administrative staff to discuss any school-related question they may have regarding their child's educational experience. Student information includes name, address, phone number, grades, disciplinary, history, ESE information, and any other information that directly relates to a student. Both federal and state law make student information confidential. You may have heard of the federal law, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, also known as FERPA. This law and a corresponding Florida statute protects families against the release of student information outside of those in a school district who needs the information to do their jobs. Check with the family and community liaison or principal at the school if you have any questions whether student information should be released. Other examples of confidential information include social security numbers, regardless to whom they belong, an employee, volunteer, student, or anyone else, employee payroll information, any medical information of any person, background check information of any person, volunteer information, information regarding ongoing investigations, whether criminal or school-based. In the end, please remember the general rule that you should not share confidential information with anyone else unless it is needed to perform your job as a volunteer. I hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of the most common forms of confidential information and your duty to keep such information confidential. If you have any questions about any part of your volunteer service, including confidentiality, I encourage you to speak with the Family and Community Liaison at the school, or contact me, Michelle Roberge, the district's volunteer coordinator in the Office of Strategic Partnerships. Our office is located in the administration building, which is in Largo. Thank you again for your service and support of our students.